Hi everybody, welcome to projectwellnessnow.com. My name is Marin and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some yoga poses for stress relief. So let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with mountain pose, we're gonna come with our feet together, align that spine, really find grounding. Press, press your feet onto the floor, spreading those toes out. Bring your hands in prayer pose and breathe in nice and deep. Try to find your alignment and your center, bringing your spine directly in alignment over your hips, shoulders over your hips. And let's go ahead and begin with our first pose, which is the eagle pose. We're going to take the left leg, cross it over the right leg, and the right arm, cross it over the left arm. From here, we're gonna wrap our foot behind our calf, and you're gonna twist your arms together, clasping your hands looking outwards, trying to find balance and center. You got some bend in your knees and your waist. So find some focus, find some steadiness, stacking your spine and breathing deep. Very good. Now we're gonna relax out of it and switch sides. So this time right over left, left over right with the arms, twist those arms. And if you can, hook your foot behind your leg. If you need a little assistance, you can drop your toe down, just like I'm doing, for a little bit of support. But if you can, just try to clasp your foot behind your ankle or your calf and work your way towards that. Nice big breath. Let's come out of it. Hands back in prayer pose. Big deep breath in mountain. Let's go ahead and drop our hands down to the floor. We're gonna stretch out, nice plank pose here bringing our forearms to the floor, and now pushing up, bending at the waist, lifting our hips towards the sky, and pressing those heels down into the dolphin pose. So forearms are down on the ground, pressing those palms firmly into the mat. You should feel nice stretch in your hamstrings, glutes, and calves, even your back. Press your palms away from the floor, and breathe deeply. From here, go ahead and drop your knees, tops of feet to the floor and extend your arms out, bringing your forehead to the floor, lifting your bum to the sky and stretching your arms out in front of you into the puppy pose. Breathe in nice and deep, arch your back if you can, really pressing your sternum or your collarbone down towards the ground you should feel a really nice stretch in your shoulders, your armpits, and your chest. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn this completely over. And then we're gonna lay down, palms up. Take a nice big breath in, corpse. You should be feeling your whole body waking up here. So go ahead and press your palms down into the ground, bringing your feet up, bending the knees, and then lifting your hips up towards the sky. So we're squeezing the glutes, making sure our toes are nice and straight. Now, if you can, clasp your hands underneath your glutes and extend your arms, pressing your pinky fingers down into the ground as you press your hips firmly up towards the sky. Breathe in nice and deep as you do this. Make sure your knees are parallel with one another. And then relax. Next, we're gonna finish with legs up the wall. If you don't have a wall, that's okay. But if you're new to this, I recommend just flipping over and finding a wall to place your legs up on. But for the sake of you being able to see this pose, I'm gonna do this without a wall, because I'm sideways like this. We place our palms firmly down on the ground, just for some support. We're gonna extend our legs up, flexing our feet, stacking our heels right over our knees, our knees right over our glutes, our hip bones. And you should feel that stretch right in the glutes and right in the hamstrings. Flexing those feet, keeping them nice and firm and extending the legs. They should feel like a nice relief. And again, if you're new to this, go ahead and flip yourself over or find an empty wall. And if you are gonna do it against a wall, I recommend scooching your hips back as far up against the wall as you can and extending those legs up. So if you are new, Having the wall is a nice relief because then you can focus on just flexing your feet and getting that nice stretch. But I will say it's a little more intense without the wall. So after we do our legs up the wall pose, 
Nice big deep breaths. We're just gonna gently relax our legs back down. Turn our palms over, facing them up towards the sky. Relaxing our feet so they're gonna splay out a little bit. If you can, just make sure your shoulder blades are flat by rolling your shoulders back and down. Close those eyes and breathe a deep belly breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice big deep breaths and then you're done with this routine. You can feel free to repeat this routine as many times as you like. I do recommend staying here in Savasana or the corpse pose at the end for at least two or three minutes. You should feel super relaxed. Your body should feel activated and good. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me here. And remember this video is made exclusively for projectwellnessnow.com. My name is Marin and I'll see you next time.